Hello again. My name is David Watts from Lenovo Press, and I have with me today Pat Moakley. Pat is the Worldwide Director of uh, Marketing for HPC and AI. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Pat? Doing great. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. So today we're going to be talking about the uh, Lenovo Think System SR670. This is our new 2U two-socket server. Uh, what's unusual about this one is that it supports four GPUs. It's aimed for the HPC and AI market. Um, we're going to go in, through in this video um, all the components, the front and the back, and go through the internals as well. But Pat, first of all, uh, tell us about who the, who the target audience is. Who's the customer that would use this type of system? So primary uh, target for the SR670 is HPC and AI customers, customers using a lot of GPU, needing the, the power of, uh, uh, of up to four GPUs, uh, customers doing AI workloads, training workloads, deep learning, uh, machine learning uh, types of workloads, as well as HPC uh, customers who need that computing power to run large data sets. And, and this system, is, it's, it's two processors and four GPUs. Correct. So that's a one to two ratio of CPUs to GPUs. Correct. Um, what's, the, what's the benefit there of that? Um, what the benefit of having the uh, one to two ratio is, is that you can run more GPUs. Uh, you keep your GPUs happy, you keep them busy, yeah. uh, and uh, you can get more of the compute power that the GPU has to offer. So you keep them fed, uh, and they can then uh, generate the, the type of compute muscle that HPC and AI customers need. Right. Okay, excellent. So let's have a look at the front of the, of the system here. Um, you might think that, well, this looks like this is the back of the server, and that's what makes this system a little bit unusual. The, the slots for this server, the SR670, are at the front of the system, and that's primarily for cooling. We've got the GPUs here, we've got uh, a pair of uh, double wide slots here and here for a total of four double wide slots for four GPUs. Um, these are all by 16 connections, as we'll show you when we get inside. Um, on this side is the I.O. cage uh, where we have right now, um, a, at the top is an I-350 uh, gigabit adapter, and we'd use that for cluster management, right? Correct. Yep. That's sort of that sort of, um, of network connectivity. Um, underneath that are two slots, and we, you typically use those for, for your cluster um, data traffic. Right. So right now we have a, um, a gigabit, sorry, a 100 gigabit um, uh, InfiniBand adapter. Correct. Um, the server also uh, is supporting um, OPA, right? OmniPath. Correct. It'll support OmniPath, yes. Right. So for for the various customers that are using different the different um, topologies, right? Those are the two dominant HPC and AI uh, network topologies. InfiniBand and, and, and OPA. And OPA. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, on top of that, uh, this is a uh, RJ45 port standard, um, and it's for systems management, and that connects directly to the onboard service process. That's the X Clarity controller chip that's inside the server, and so that's what that that port is for for remote management. Um, Usual power controls, power indicators, and so on. There, um, we've got a little label pullout here where the MAC address and IP address, uh, the defaults for the X Clarity controller, would be there. There's another one on the other side of the system, um, a blank one, and that's where a customer can put their own label uh, if they want to. There, um, on this side, we've got a VGA, a VGA port, and a two. USB ports, uh, USB 2 and USB 3, and those are for your, your crash cart type configuration if you have a, um, a video uh, keyboard mouse uh, in your data center and you need to connect to the system um, while, it's, uh, while locally, then that's what you use there. Um, right, so that's all the front. Um, at the back, let's spin this around. So what we have is two power supplies. Um, these are 2,000 watt your power supplies, right, Pat? Yep. Um, and they are redundant. Power, yeah, got to have all that power for the GPUs. Right, right. So these are these are hot swap, and they are redundant uh, in most configurations. Mm -hmm. Yep. And next to that, uh, on uh, the top here, these are the hard drives. Normally, you'd see those in the front, but mm -hmm. for this configuration, we have the, this server. We have them at the back. They are hot swap. Uh, this server supports eight two and a half inch SATA drives. Um, the, the server does, does not, uh, it, sorry, it will support SATA through the onboard SATA RAID controller, the mm -hmm. integrated RAID controller, um, so you can configure those as RAID. Uh, it doesn't support SAS um, simply because the slots are all taken up by the GPUs or right. the network cards. Right. So there's no additional lanes there for, for a RAID card as such. Yep. Um, also uh, is, a, is a serial port, uh, again, for, for remote management, um, IPMI, that, that sort of connectivity, um, should you use to that, that. Fairly simple um, um, 
functions at the back. Not a lot, not a lot to it. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look inside, see where all the good stuff is. And I'll remove the, um, the air baffle as well. So, um, I'll spin it this way, yeah. So let's look at the stuff from the front. So Pat, we have um, four GPUs in two cages. So each of these cages support, holds two GPUs, right? Correct. Um, and I'll show you this, what it looks like when, when you remove it. Um, so you can see here we have two, two um, uh, NVIDIA V100 GPUs, and they are installed, I think it's this way, maybe, no, it is this way, yes. They're installed like so um, into the server. And e so each, each can be uh, full length, full, full height, length, full double height. wide. Yep. Yep. So for GPU management, these servers support, this is the server supports Lico. That's the Lenovo Intelligent Compute Orchestrator. Is that right? Correct. Yep. What is, what is Lico? Lico is our software package that manages the entire AI stack from uh, the hardware all the way up to the application level. That includes the libraries, uh, including the math kernel library from Intel or the CUDA libraries from NVIDIA, uh, the platforms uh, such as um, uh, you'll have uh, TensorFlow, you'll have uh, uh, MXNet, CAFE, all of those are supported as well as others, um, all the way up to the application level. And what that does is it allows customers to very easily manage the entire stack to where they can uh, execute uh, AI jobs, um, workloads um, such as uh, deep learning or, or training workloads uh, without um, having to have like a real deep command line mm -hmm. interface um, uh, experience. So you can do it without having to have a data scientist to run your run your jobs. Right, yeah, okay. And if you look, of course, if you're looking for more information on Lico, we do have a product code for that. Mm -hmm. So you can check out all the details about how to Right, how and to Lico 5.2 is about to come out, so. Excellent, all right. So um, as well as the two GPUs, um, here are the, this is the I.O. cage, uh, the two um, Ethernet adapters, that's the I-350 gigabit adapter, and then below is, is um, in this example, uh, a Mellanox 100 gig Ethernet uh, and InfiniBand VPI adapter. Um, so that's the, that's the I.O. at the front of the system. Right. Now, what we have in the middle here, the, the six um, simple swap fans, mm -hmm. and they pull the air through the GPUs and then into the rest of the system. All right. Um, now, the design here is, is the objective is to keep the, the GPUs as cool as possible. That's why they're at the front. Right. Um, and that's really where most of the heat is generated. But there is still enough cooling capacity in the system to cool the CPUs and the memory and the rest of the components as well, the drivers and so on at the back. Mm -hmm. uh, this system supports two Intel Xeon processors, the uh, scalable, scalable family right. processors. Um, as, as, as normal, um, each processor supports up to 12 DIMMs per processor for a total of 24 installed in this system. Uh, this machine has, uh, this particular system has 12 DIMMs installed. Mm -hmm. the, the server supports either 12 or 24. Those are the two configurations you, would, you could choose right. from. And the standard CPUs are the gold, either the 6142 or the 5118s, but it can support in special configurations up to 205 watt CPUs. So basically the full, full SKU set of, of uh, processors is, is, is possible with this system if a customer wants a particular if a processor. Wants, yes, in, yeah. in certain configurations. Right. And you'll also notice throughout the internals of the, the system you see a lot of cables. Right, um, yes. Um, I mean, that's, that's really quite unusual for a service to see so many cables around. And the key thing here to note is that these connections here, they're numbered all the way up to 12, these are in fact the PCIe lanes. Correct. Now, on a traditional server, you would have riser cards, um, your riser slots, mm -hmm. and all your adapters would be connected that way. This system uses cables rather than um, onboard slots. Right. Why is that? What's, what's the benefit there? The concept is called integrated modularity, and what it does is it's based on not having hardwired PCIe slots, but you, leveraging the PCI, uh, uh, PCIe lanes. So uh, there are 12, six per CPU, by eight lanes coming off of each CPU, that allow you to combine them. So you can take two by eight lanes and create one by 16. So you can have incredible flexibility with the system in terms of configuring your I.O. Uh, th here's an, actually an actual example of that. This is our, our GPU cage with two GPUs and we have four by eight connections, mm -hmm. two for each GPU and they form a PCI by 16 connection. Right. 
So that's how, that's how these are, are reconfigurable through UEFI. The other cable on this, by the way, is that's the auxiliary power connectors for the two GPUs. Correct. That's, what, that's what those are. Right, okay, so also we have here, um, down tucked away in the corner here, this is the M.2 adapter. And just like we have on uh, the rest of our uh, Think System servers, we have an M.2 support. And what that is, is um, it's a boot drive. Um, and here are the two variations we support. This one is the, the single M.2 adapter, and this one is the, the dual M.2 adapter. And simply because, they're named that way, because this one on the side on my left here supports one M.2 adapter, uh, M.2 card, and this one supports two, one on either side. And so with the, the dual one, you can actually, it supports mirroring, RAID 1, mm -hmm. um, the, the RAID functionality is built into the card. So you can use this, you can use either as boot drives, this one will give you redundant a redundant pair of, of right. boot devices, if you if you if you wish. So the idea is that you would use these, use the M.2 as your boot device, and then you'd reserve the the SATA drives as the mm -hmm. the, the data source for the GPUs. Correct. The local data source. Correct. Yeah. Um, the rest of the cables here, uh, power. Uh, in fact, these these are the power cables from the GPU uh, cages. Um, and cables that route through to the uh, drive backplane and so on there. So that's pretty much the, the system. Um, it's a very dense system, uh, quite a long platform, uh, but the key thing is uh, four, support for four high-performance GPUs uh, along with two processors. So there you have it. This is the Lenovo SR670 2U2 socket with four GPUs. Hope you found the video useful. Uh, actually, I should say, Pat, we're in the um, executive briefing mm -hmm. center, right? Yep. Um, this is a great, great resource for, for customers, right? Absolutely. Customers can come here. They can get hands-on with all the systems, uh, including the SR670. Uh, they can also use our AI Innovation Center, which is um, here. We have one here in uh, Morrisville. We mm -hmm. also have one in Stuttgart. We have one in Beijing and one in Taipei. Uh, and customers can come in. They can use Lico. They can get hands-on with it, understand how it works. And come and talk to the engineers, right? Absolutely. They get not only our engineers, but our partner engineers, engineers from right. Intel, NVIDIA, and yep. some of the software companies. So yep. they have a great opportunity to come in and get their AI platform started um, before uh, they actually do go to proof of concept and, and go to, to deployment. How would they go about organizing a, a, site, a site visit? Talk to their rep. Their rep oh, can arrange it and, okay. and, and bring them in, and we'll have all the... Uh, uh, the experts, the guys in the lab, will take them through everything they need to know and get them set up with their data. Great. All right. So there you have it. This is the SR670. If you're looking for more, more information about the, the server, we do have the product guide. I will put the link to that in the description for the video. Mm -hmm. Hope you found the video useful. Pat, thanks very much. Thank you. And we'll see you later. Bye.